Hello everyone, welcome to this video by Simply Learn. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the sheer amount of data your company collects? Customer information, sales record and website analytics can all become a jumbled mess without any clear structure or organization. That's where data modeling comes in. Data modeling is the process of creating a blueprint that shows how different pieces of data relate to each other. It's like having a map to navigate the landscape of your company's data. Let me demonstrate with a story. Rayan is a marketing analyst at a rapidly growing e-commerce company. His boss gave him the important job of using the company's data and finding insights from the data, which will help the company grow and increase sales. Rayan soon finds himself drowning in an ocean of data from his company. No matter how hard he tries, he cannot make sense of it at all. That's when his colleague Sophia introduced him to the concept of data modeling. By creating a data model for sales and customer data, they identified key entities like customers, products and orders and defined the relationship between them. Suddenly, the chaotic data starts to make sense and patterns emerge. With the data model as a guide, Rian could now easily analyze customer behaviors, identify trends and uncover opportunities. He presented valuable insights to his boss who recognized the power of data modeling. Data modeling allows you to understand and organize your data effectively. It's the foundation for extracting meaningful insights that drive better decision making and business growth. So if you're feeling lost in your company's data, Remember that data modeling is the map that can guide you through the maze and unlock the true potential of your data assets. Alright, let's get started. In this video, I will break down everything you need to know about data modeling and analysis and provide a comprehensive study of data modeling and analysis. We will also explore career paths in data related roles and the scope of becoming a data analyst. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you are interested in a professional certificate course in data analytics, begin your learning journey with Simply Learn and IIT Kanpur's Data Analytics Certificate course. Explore our learning management system, track your progress, and meet completion requirements. Join the professional certificate course in data analytics, recognized as a top PG data program by AIM. Learn to understand data and enhance your analytics skills through live sessions and industry experts. Hands-on labs and masterclasses by IIT Kanpur faculty. You can check out the link mentioned in the description box below and the pinned comment. Start learning today and unlock endless opportunities in data analytics. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's get started. Data modeling, my friends, it's all about defining the structure of your database. Imagine you've got this raw data coming from an API or maybe some sales information. It's usually a bit of mess, right? Just a bunch of numbers, letters, and codes representing transactions, customer details, and whatnot. Well, data modeling helps you bring order to that chaos by aligning the data and integrating it into your existing database. Think of it like this. Suppose you are an architect designing a blueprint for your data. You decide how different pieces of information relate to each other, like how payment connects to orders or how customer details link to their purchase history. It visually represents the different data elements and how they relate to each other, following certain predefined rules and guidelines. But why bother with all of this? You might ask, well, data modeling is the foundation for everything you do with your data. It ensures data integrity and accuracy, making sure your machine learning models aren't just training on garbage data or giving you nonsensical predictions. Moreover, it aids in database design, application development, and data analysis, allowing you to extract valuable insights from your organized information. And let's not forget about data governance. Having a clear understanding of where your data lives, what types of data you're storing, and the security measures is the key to compliance with those pesky regulations and standards. Now let's talk about the different types of data models out there. At first, we've got the good old model, which is the relational model. This uses tables to store data and establish relationships between them. It's relatively simple to set up and has powerful query capabilities, making it a popular choice. Then we've got the 
object oriented model which combines data and operations into a single model these are great for applications with complex relationship and operations like maybe modeling the robotics of a car factory but probably not an ai model that wouldn't make much sense right we've got also network data models which are an extension of hierarchical models it allows for multiple parent records for each child representing more complex relationship and let's not forget about the entity relationship model which gives you a clear logical view of your data by mapping out entities attributes and relationship it's like a giant web of connections making it easy to understand how data flows from one point to another now when it comes to implementing data modeling you've got a bunch of tools at your disposal from dedicated solutions like er studio and db schema to open source options like pg modeler and mysql workbench you've also got collaborative online tools like lucid chart which is perfect for teams working together on data models and let's not forget the good old oracle sql data modeler and ibm infosphere data architect for those who are in business intelligence and analytics game but wait there's more the data modeling process itself is a journey first you start with the conceptual modeling where you get a high level understanding of the data you're working with and what your stakeholders need from it it's like the rough draft of your data blueprint then we move on to the logical data modeling where we get technical details attributes primary keys foreign keys relationship between tables next we have physical modeling this is where we design our database schema and optimize it for performance indexing and partitioning to make sure your data runs like a well oiled machine After that you finally create the database and start ingesting your business data but the fun doesn't stop there you've got to keep maintaining and updating your data model as your needs change capturing those data changes over time and making adjustments to keep everything run smoothly and there you have it data modeling is the backbone of your data universe ensuring that your application analytics and decision making process are built on the solid foundation of well structured and organized information after establishing a robust data model the next step is to delve into the fascinating world of data analysis this is where the real magic happens data analysis empowers you to uncover hidden patterns trends and relationship within your meticulously organized data through data analysis you can transform raw information into actionable intelligence that drives informed decision making It's like uncovering a treasure trove of knowledge buried within your data waiting to be explored and leveraged for strategic advantage. Now let's switch gears and talk about data analysis. Well, data analysis is all about evaluating the data itself. It's like being a detective looking for clues and patterns in the data to tell a compelling story. You might run reports, create custom queries or even merge data from multiple sources to get a complete picture. It's like piecing together a puzzle but with numbers and information instead of colorful pieces. We will now discuss the several types of data analysis each serving a different purpose. At first, we have descriptive analysis which help you to see what has already happened by looking at the past data. Then we have the diagnostic analysis to determine why something happened by examining the data. Predictive analysis uses past data to predict what might happen in the future and finally prescriptive analysis combines all others to make recommendations for the future. Where does a data analyst fit into this intricate web of data modeling? Well, a data analyst is the master architect designing the blueprints that bring order to the chaos of raw data. They define how different pieces of information relate to each other following predefined rules and guidelines. It's like creating a massive catalog for your organization data assets. ensuring everything is accounted for and organized to be a master of data analysis you just need two crucial skills first you need to have a solid understanding of the business what the data means and how it impacts the organization operation but that's not all you also need some serious technical chops you need to know your way around databases business intelligence systems and the tools needed to extract and analyze the precious data And let's not forget the demand for skilled data analysts is soaring. According to the industry reports, the average data analyst salary in the US projected to reach around seventy-five thousand dollars, with the opportunities for experienced professionals to earn well over six figures. 
Now you might be thinking, aren't data modeling and analysis two different skill sets? Well, you're not wrong. But here's when it gets interesting. Data analysis and data modeling. Data modeling and data analysis often overlap. To truly understand how data moves from one system to another or how different field maps together, you might need to flex your data analysis and dive into the raw data itself. This synergy has led to the rise of combined business intelligence and business analysis role, a dynamic duo where data modeling and data analysis joined forces to create powerful business insights and intelligence. It's like having a superhero team from where each skill set complements the other. Now you might be thinking, but wait, aren't there still opportunities for more general functional business analysis roles? While dedicated business intelligence is in high demand, there's still a thriving market for those who prefer a more broad-based approach. Let us now discuss the career paths in data-related roles. The key thing to understand is that data modeling and data analysis go hand in hand. Good modeling ensures you have accurate structured data, skilled analysis that allows you to truly unlock the value in the data through insights. Companies need expertise in both areas for a comprehensive data strategy. If you really enjoy digging into data to find hidden insights, a dedicated business intelligence analyst role could be perfect. But there are also general business analyst role available that still requires good data modeling skills. Whichever path you choose, having skills in both data analysis and modeling is very valuable. With strong abilities in these areas, your data projects are much more likely to succeed. And that's all for this video. If you really like this session, then please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.